Hello friends and welcome back. Today's topic for discussion is identification, authentication and authorization where we will discuss these concepts in details. We often use these terms interchangeably during our casual conversations but they do have a different meaning. So let's dive in and understand what these terms mean and how they work. Let's start with identification. Identification is the process of establishing who a user claims to be. It involves presenting some form of a unique identifier such as username, email address or employee ID to any system or application. This is a unique identifier and helps in distinguishing one user from another user. For example, when you create an account on a website and enter your email address as your username, you are providing your identification or any unique identifier which is issued to you or your employee ID. So these are all forms of identification. Once a user is identified, we move on to authentication. So authentication is the process of verifying the claimed identity of a user. Suppose you have provided any email address. In authentication, you need to provide the password as well for the email address which you provided, right? So it ensures that the person who is logging in is indeed uh, the same person who they claim to be, right? So there are different methods of authentications like something you know, something you have and something you are. So something you know means it is an authentication method which is based on your knowledge, right? Your passwords or any PIN number, personal identification numbers used for access or verification. So you know these things. So this is categorized into something you know, something you have. It is authentication which is based on the possession of any access card or any any other digital objects like smart card, any security tokens, right? Or authentication apps you have on your mobile devices. So these all comes under something you have. Now something you are. So what you are, here comes your physical and behavioral traits, right? Biometrics, fingerprint recognition, facial recognition, voice recognition. So all these comes under something you are. So these are different methods of authentication which you will keep on hearing again and again in future as well. So finally, we have authorization. Authorization is a process of granting or denying access to specific resources or functionalities based on user's authenticated identity. It defines what a user is allowed to perform once their identity has been confirmed. And it is often managed through permissions, roles or access control list assigned to different user accounts. There can be different types of access control which includes mandatory access control, discretionary, rule based or role based access control. I have prepared a separate video on mandatory and discretionary access control. If you want better understanding, you can refer that. Now let's take a practical example to understand identification, authentication and authorization concepts better. Imagine you are an employee at any organization, you have different departments. So you have a unique employee ID that serves as your identification within the system. If you put your identity ID, employee ID systems will recognize, yes, this is the same person, right? So your employee ID serves as an identification. When you arrive at an office, you swipe your access card at tripod or any access control to enter the building. That is authentication, right? You are swiping the access card which is issued to you. So that is a form of authentication. So once you are inside, your employee ID grants you access to your department floor or meeting room or any special room or any, any other room or any other area where you are allowed to go for your performing your regular job. Suppose you are into one department and that is on a different floor. You want to access other department which is on a different floor and your job does not require you to visit the other floor, then you won't be authorized to go to the other floor, right? You only will be authorized to visit your floor. So this is based on the permissions and rules issued against your, your user ID, right? So it's important to note that identification, authentication and authorization work together to create a secure environment without 
proper identification and authentication unauthorized individuals might gain access to sensitive data or resources right thank you for watching i'll be back with another video another topic for discussion soon thank you have a good day